What's up everyone, For the Winitachi here, you know what it is, and thank you all very much for tuning in to youtube.com slash For the Winitachi Plays, where today we are here again with another live reaction video. Now, I've been sick for the past couple of days, I'm still sick, but you can probably tell by my voice, and for those of you that tune in live at night, I'm still streaming while I am sick, they're just not as long as usual, um, but I still try to get some games in. But for without further ado... Uh, we've got some new videos that have been recently released on YouTube, and as always, these are games that I currently play on the channel, so I thought, you know what, let's just go ahead and check out what the game is releasing on their specific YouTube channels and see what's in store. We've recently released a video based upon this already. This is um, behind the scenes on the Cookie Watch uh, little video that went on for Christmas, and uh, this is um, the behind the scenes on that Cookie Watch video. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and check it out. Stop motion and the holidays have a very long and rich tradition. The whole concept of Cookie Watch was based on, I eat at my desk very often at work and I had just gotten my Reaper statue and he was just sitting there looking at my sushi. That little idea became, what if he's trying to steal Santa's cookies? It's the night before Christmas. And that was kind of the genesis of what became Cookie Watch. So how did you make it? Is it like a robot chicken from Comedy Central? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Collaboration, of course, between me and Shell, right? We always write everything together. We love the odd couple between Reaper and Tracer, how Tracer is just so like chipper and happy and ready to go and good. And Reaper that is like, oh, such a long, that's so hard that to make, dude. And that tension was going to be perfect for our story. When you watch them, the characters aren't exactly the characters that you play in the game. Mm cookies it's like an echo of overwatch it's just a little different and a little more fun we also got to bring in one of my really good friends one of my best friends craig harris i connected with the story i could see it right away so it was really easy to kind of get into it so i storyboarded the thing out and we just worked together and tried to get an edit done after hours we started drawing and doing some pitches on, on some different ideas and he ended up boarding most of the film this, this sort of was probably the hardest thing of all time. Are on their knees animating the puppets. And over here is our second set, where animators were also on their knees animating the puppets. Right now, this is the coziest room in our house. It's the room our animals like the most. We've hidden some good things in this one that some eagle eye viewers might be able to pick up. Yep, I was about to say that. Yeah, I remember it. again to practically do the effects as best we could. <laughs> How are we going to explain? Like, that's all animated, but the puppets we themselves. Green and we went outside in the front porch and we shot ornaments for like an hour and a half. And got this beautiful footage. And you should have seen my smiles. Doofus hits that cookie and smashes it. Boom, you pull out the cookie, you pull out the plate, and we replace it with all these little chunks. And you, one frame at a time, animate them. You get to see that that real shatter, and you know it's real. It's not CG. Now, where's my hero's welcome? How, though, Sway? Stop motion again. It's all problem solving. One of the many problems was you have this big, cushy couch, and Tracer just jumping on the couch like a little kid. Yeah, I did a test and it looked really fun, but there wasn't the squish that I was looking for. Shell came up with a brilliant plan to put like a, just a little pin on the top of the cushion. I rigged this little button here with the string attached to it so that when Justin was animating her and Tracer would come down, he could squish it down and pull the string and the couch would stay. And then it worked the same way coming up. He'd let a little bit out. I didn't even notice. And it freaking makes this beautiful squishing effect. <laughs> It's just really exciting and satisfying. Every time we have a new problem that we solve in one of the millions of ways you can solve it, it's just a triple berry cake of awesome. But how did the puppets move sway? A success. We had <clears throat> even more support from the Blizzard animation team. It was it was actually really cool to watch. Cookie Watch is still a stop motion project in the area of cleanup and rotoscoping, Here we go. which is typically like wires and rig removals. There's actually a lot of work involved that is quite invisible, but some of the work that artists did- That's what I always wonder. How do they erase things in video? Smoke and dust like how do you select what, like how? We're able to add a little bit of extra spice on top with Reaper smoke. I like the little rainbow effect. 
The team really just adds that extra touch to the practical effects that are done on set. That's all to really make this piece as good as it possibly can be. Their whole support in this film was amazing. It plus the whole show tremendously. One of the things that I love about these movies is that they really embrace the fun and this like sense of magic. It's just bringing the Overwatch universe life in another way. We made Cookie Watch for the fans. It's just a way to say thank you, you know, happy holidays. We love doing these. We love it. I do think we're going to be doing this again, and hopefully for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> well then, a little bit late for happy holidays, don't you think? Forgot your base, man. Great job on the show. Oof. Oh. <clears throat> Catch you on the next one. Well then, uh, that was actually pretty damn cool. It was nice to see the behind the scenes on that. I always wonder how they do those types of uh, animations, like Robot Chicken, for those of you that used to watch that. I really didn't watch it, but um, it, it's a show that was pretty much the same style off uh, Cookie Watch, which Cookie Watch just went in with the animations where they have to use their hands and animate a little bit of a, a an action figure to do every single step. And they have to actually get that on camera and then make everything that's not supposed to be in shot invisible um, through a program on a computer, and that's just the one thing that boggles my mind. But uh, let me know what you guys think about Cookie Watch down below in the comment section. Catch you guys in some more videos. Peace out.